Hello and welcome to module seven of this Django REST framework course. In this video, we'll be doing some view sets and routers for the new e-commerce app we built in the last video. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, and welcome to module seven. So like I said in the intro there, We'll be doing some views and routers and URLs today. So this is kind of wiring up the last part of it because we've got a model, we've got it in a database, right? So we can now store data. We've got serializers, serializers to um, validate information coming in from a user. Now we want to wire up the view. So we've got some something to handle that logic, the view logic and a URL to point it towards that view. But before I jump into it, Drop us a like and a comment, it really helps me out. Um, and also subscribe and click the bell. So every time I add a video, you're notified. All of this stuff that I set at the start and the end of the video just helps me build a channel and it helps me to continue building and creating content for you. So it's a massive help. You help me and I help you. Okay, so module seven. Okay, so every module comes with some steps. We know this if you've been following along. Um, steps are all here in the project. Things in the description below, so the links to the GitHub repository. Nice one. That's the first time I mentioned that in about two or three modules, so I do apologize. It's all there, okay? So always go to the description. Module seven preview. Your directory should look similar to this. Pause the video, have a look, make sure it does because I'm following along with you at the same time. So if it works for me, it should work for you, okay? And if it's not, you can clone down the module or pull down the module seven from uh, GitHub there. So today, like I said at the last, uh, end of the last module, we've got, our, we've got a place to store the information. We've got a database, so we've got the models, okay? Django models relate to database tables. If somebody, if we add an item or you place an order, we've got somewhere to store that information. Happy days. We've got a serializer to handle the serialization of information coming in and to validate that information and to give information back to the user. We've got that. Now we need a view. So this is, kind of, this is a Django view or a, a DRF view set to be the place, the destination, the handle, and string it all together, all the logic surrounding this endpoint. And then we'll create a URL, which will um, the route the traffic to that endpoint to the right view. Let's do it. So in the views file in e-commerce, copy all of this information and dump it, dump it in. I lost my trial of thought. Views.py, sorry, sorry, sorry. I heard a noise and it distracted me. So what we're doing, similar to the contact page, um, actually when we were doing that, we uh, quickly realized that we're, we're inheriting from view sets and that's why we're getting a bad request in, in Docker, but don't worry about that. Um, it's kind of a bug that we're lying out at a later point. So yeah, we're bringing in uh, JSON decode error, a JSON response, so we can give some, a, a bespoke response back to users if something goes belly up. We're bringing in the serializers we just created along with the models. That's what this dot means, it's relative, yeah, so we're bringing in views and models. And then from DRF, we're bringing in parsers. This is a new one, permissions, okay? So if we pass through is authenticated to one of these views, it means that only an authenticated person can use it. The authentication method we're using is token auth. We looked at module that in module five. That's what that's doing. Bringing in view sets and status, bringing in response, and then we've got a few of these little mixins. These mixins are great because we can add these mixins to our view sets, and it brings or it adds the uh, logic around a list. So a list module or model mixin retrieves a list that has all the logic of, re of receiving a request in from a user. And it, based on it being a model uh, serializer, it will return a list back to the user, a list of multiple different um, instances. You've then got retrieve. So it retrieve one single instance based on a primary key. Now you can change that by changing the, um, the router, the default router. So you can have it as a slug or a primary key or a combination of both. But even so, we're just using primary keys. So straight out the box, it's looking for a primary key. In our case, it's a UUID, okay? Then we've got view sets dot generic view sets. So this is just a generic view set we're inheriting from here. Simple, simple, simple stuff. This is all we're doing for item view set. All we need to do is add the permission class, the query set, the serializer class, and the Django REST framework does the lot. The reason I wanted this in here is I wanted to demonstrate just how easy 
Django REST framework makes it super powerful, super easy. What have I done here? I mean, really, this is call out one line of code because I've, I've stretched it over four lines because it's just easier to read. I've got a doc string over three lines, which isn't necessary, but remove the fact we've got a doc string and that. Four lines of code, and we've got an endpoint that will handle retrieving a list and retrieving an individual instance from an endpoint with a permission class, so it's expecting token. I mean, that is impressive stuff, you've got to say, right? Good. Sorry, I keep biting my lip. I don't edit these videos. Um, it is what it is. Sorry, we've got order view set. So we're doing the same, look, retra um, retrieving a list, retrieving an individual instance of a database, and we've also got the update module mix in as well. So this is like a put request. Bit different for this one because we're doing more, but we've got the permissions class and serializer class there. So this is all, you know, you've got to be authenticated to get into this. Um, and we're using the order serializer instead of the item serializer. Get query set. So we've got a get query set class here. Um, why? Because we only want to retrieve orders for a certain user. Okay, so we're getting the user from the request. Now self-request.user, we know that's an authenticated user because of this. So this is the signed not the signed in user, this is the authenticator or authorized user um, because they're sending a token. So we know the quest user is the user. We're passing that user through to order. So we're filtering the order instances for anyone with a user that meets user equals user, user equals user. So that's the query set. Otherwise we'll be sending everything back for Billy, Jane, Sally, Bob, Frank, everyone else. So we'll have a list endpoint, we'll have a retrieve endpoint based on that. And we'll also have a, um, a create endpoint as well. So again, similar to the uh, contact, we're just going to try and accept, accept them in JSON. If it's valid, that's important. So serialize if valid, is valid. How will we know it's valid? Well, this needs to pass. So validation needs to pass. Data set validation needs to pass. Our validate method needs to pass. So there needs to be stock. So if it passes, great. That means a stock. And everything we're passing through is valid also. So we get the item based on the PK, okay? Probably call this, um, or the uh, get query set. Uh, we get the item, we get the order based from the user and the data, the quantity, sorry. So I'm talking out of here. So we're getting the item, and then we're calling the place order method in the, in the, uh, the, the model itself. So place order, here we go. So this is actually the, the heart of what we're doing here. So um, we get the item that we're trying to place an order for, and then we call this method, which then subsequently calls these other methods as well, okay? But we won't call that method until we know this stock, so we're quite safe. Um, and then, so we place the order, and then we respond with the order serializer. We pass through the new order, because it is an order, this is a model serializer, so it's looking for a model instance. We pass through order, dot data, so that we're sending the data back, okay? If it doesn't pass, we pass through 400, and if the encoding, the JSON encoding fails, we pass through 400 or so, okay? So again, quite powerful stuff, really. I mean, we've got a view set here. It's handling, retrieving a list, retrieving an individual instance. Um, we're also then creating an order. Happy days. Doing a lot of stuff there, all with authentication. So we'll save that and go back to our preview mode. We now need a router. Copy. Go back into the DRF course, URL conf, dump that in there. What are we add in? We add in these two here. Okay, so we're importing the views from the from e-commerce app, and we're adding these two here. Very much like contact, uh, contact item, that's the endpoint, order, endpoint. Okay, so um, we'll have to add in a header as well, which I'll show you in a few moments, but that is essentially it. We've just created those endpoints. Nice and easy stuff. Okay. We're not testing those endpoints, but we'll do that in the next video. Let's have a little look. Models. I will do the test suite first, then any endpoints. Okay, so we're not testing the endpoints. We'll do that in the next module. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, before we close off, if we look at the preview of module seven, there we go. You can see we've got a directory there. Just make sure you're on the same page as me, and then it will work. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, Drop me a like and a comment. 
subscribe to the channel, click the bell so every time I add a video you're notified. And that is it. Thank you very much. Well, the last video will be the last module of the course. So I'll be doing some testing and firing off some, some uh, commands from Docker just to make sure it all works. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.